Hello and welcome to another Bosco's Toy Box where I'm back with uh, more toy collectibles and uh, this time it's not so much a toy collectibles it's uh, really to show you uh, something about my toy photography and actually with my traveling uh, I do have a couple trips coming up here very shortly I got uh, Burbank, California coming up and then in the next few months I've got uh, San Francisco and actually I got two San Francisco trips coming up here very shortly but uh, when I travel or just actually in my free time I do uh, toy photography but when I travel I uh, take uh, my cameras my toys and uh, just thought I'd show you how I transport everything because uh, I have a camera bag and it's actually personalized uh, toy wise so I just thought I'd give you a, a quick look at everything and first oh and at the same time too uh, Vampire has this 20 questions which I'm only going to answer a few of them that pertain to this certain video and then I'll answer um, his other questions when I can do a video that can uh, correspond with that so, his first question is, where do you feel safe? And it used to be the movie theater, but I'm not going to go into it because uh, just the movie theater experience has just, it's been tarnished and I just don't like going anymore, and I don't. So actually, uh, where do I feel safe? Uh, San Francisco, and that's where I go uh, a lot of the times. Now, of course, that's also been tarnished with this other, uh, uh, with the... Uh, illegal uh, person that uh, shot this Kate Stanley, but I'm not going to go into that uh, either, which I kind of vowed from staying away from San, from San Francisco, and I'll explain that more later on uh, in a different video. But still, I actually do feel safe uh, in San Francisco. So, <clears throat> uh, what I'm going to show you is this is the toy photography camera bag that I carry with me. I carry all my cameras all my toys in this it is not uh, that big but it's just actually the right size for like uh, what where I know I'm going for a certain day and it carries just everything I need for that certain day so as you can see if you're a Doctor Who fan you can see that this is a TARDIS backpack and I had actually got this uh, back uh, earlier uh, this year in January of 2015 from um, uh, Hot Topic, sorry about that, uh, just had to think about that, but yeah, from Hot Topic, I actually ordered it from their, um, online store, and I actually think I got it for like 50% off with one of their, uh, hot cash things. Uh, so, just, <clears throat> as you can see, it's actually fully loaded with, uh, pins, buttons, keychains, charm, I don't know if you want to say charms, but whatever, but, um, very quickly, I will show you what's on the backpack. And uh, first of all, I'll show you two San Francisco uh, pins that I got um, in Chinatown in San Francisco. So this first one is a cable car. And also, if you can hear in the background, uh, we are getting a lot of rain here in Las Vegas right now. Which is actually good. Because <clears throat> I love the rain during October especially. And this other uh, pin is like a kind of like a meshed up skyline of uh, San Francisco. So I like that. And I think these were like 99 cents each in Chinatown. Uh, next up is now I had already showed you this R2D2 uh, keychain that I got at Target for $1. And up next. Um, this is, uh, is it Totoro? My neighbor Totoro. Um, I had actually gotten this button on uh, one of those, uh, it was either, I think it was Nerd Block, I think, one of the subscription boxes. And speaking of which, there should be another one here somewhere of that button. There we go. I will show you that one. So that was, uh, came in the same uh, subscription block. 
And speaking of subscription blocks, uh, there was a superhero month one where we got some superhero buttons. So there's a Wolverine one. There is a Spider-Man one that I got. And I think there's another one here on the side. Two more on the side. So there's a Batman and Spider-Man. So very cool buttons. Now as far as the keychains and everything, I had actually gotten this Care Bear one in a Savers uh, toy bag about three or four weeks ago and I just never showed it on one of my videos yet. So there's that. And this I had already shown on a past video that I got on a, I think it was a Savers bag. So that's a keychain that I keep on my backpack. And in San Francisco, there are some really cool comic book stores. One of uh, it, one of which is called Two Cats Comics. And I got a Doctor Who, Timey Wimey, Wibbly Wobbly, Tardis button. So that is very cool. And uh, Vampire does ask, "What's your favorite store?" And actually, there's. Uh, I would say maybe there's one really cool store in San Francisco that I like to go to called Green Apple Books, which is just a it's a humongous used bookstore. It's just it's something that just has to you have to go there because there's so many levels, so many back areas. So it's just filled with used books, and it's just such a great uh, used bookstore. And there's actually a store that I like to go to also that's a used bookstore in uh, San Francisco called Artvark Books. The, the animal, Aardvark Books. <clears throat> uh, so again, uh, in San Francisco, there's actually a store on, on uh, Hate Street called Kid Robot, and if you don't know what Kid Robot is, they make the um, uh, vinyl figures. Well, they do have a store in San Francisco, and I had actually gotten a blind bag Street Fighter keychain and this is the keychain that I got, and I know there's some glare, so I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, it is a very cool keychain. And then on the back, if you can see that, they do have a move list. There you go. So if you can pause that, you can see that. So that's a very cool keychain. Another keychain that I got at the Kid Robots store is this there's a blind box Futurama keychain and that's Dr. Zoidberg. Okay. And then also I cannot even I had this pro I've probably had this keychain probably for like fifteen or twenty years. And uh it's a mystery machine. It's very worn as you can see. But I still keep it on there. Uh, also, uh, I think I got this at, no, this was a, also a Nerd Block subscription. This is a blind bag, uh, I think they call it Danglers, Nintendo Danglers, and that's who I got is, uh, Mario on Yoshi. And also in the subscription Nerd Block, uh, in the past, this was a, uh, Funko... Uh, Harley Quinn, I think his, it, it was like an exclusive just to Nerd Block. So that is very cool because I like Harley Quinn. And also on the backpack, let me see if there's anything else that I'm forgetting or m missing. And I don't think there is. So that is pretty much my backpack. I know I'll probably be adding more to that. So inside of the backpack... I carry my cameras and the one I'm filming this video with now is my digital camera so I can't show you that so I primarily like to shoot film over digital it, I it's just I, I don't know I, I just I love film better than digital and um, it, it's just something that I love doing I love shooting film so what I'm going to show you is there's two film cameras that I always carry with me always take with me I always 
uh, on an ordinary day, I always take one with me. And these are Holga cameras, Holga 120s. And if you don't know what a Holga is, you'll have to Google it. And uh, But they are very, very cheap cameras. But they're film cameras, and uh, they're, they're used for lamography. And lamography is where you're taking either cheap, cheap cameras or toy cameras. And they could either be film or digital, and you shoot with them. It's a way to... Um, challenge yourself as a photographer so as you can see I decorate uh, this camera and I've got different stickers on this camera so I've got a Futurama I've got Family Guy stickers and uh, so that's what I this is what I shoot with primarily this is just a standard Holga and then this is a twin reflex Holga and if you don't know what twin reflex is again you can google it but just to sum it up uh, Normally, a viewfinder would be at the top left of a Holga, but with a twin reflex, the viewfinder is at the top, and you click it up, and then you look down, because there's, um, two, uh, if I remember right, God, I, I'm, I'm a photographer and I should know what I'm talking about, but you look down, and then there's the mirrors uh, that will... Uh, uh, reflect down and out so like instead of you're just looking one direction you're actually looking down to look out straight so it is a little bit more challenging and um, but it is just uh, a different way uh, just a different camera to have and okay so this camera's not cooperating so I'll just have to work with that later Okay, so those are two Holga cameras that I uh, shoot with. Now, another one that I just, for challenging sake, it is a very, very cheap kid's camera. I've showed this before on a uh, pickup video. But this is a uh, VTech. It's called a Kid Zoom. Very, low, very, very low quality, but it's a way to challenge myself. And um, I'm actually going to get some more uh, vintage cameras here when I go to Broadacres Flea Market. Because I want to get some really old, I want to get a brownie. And again, if you don't know what a brownie is, uh, Google that. Uh, but uh, I would like to get a brownie, and I actually would like to get a 35mm uh, film camera. And there's actually another film camera that I'm looking at that I can get at Broadacres Flea Market for a very, very reasonable price. Um, there is a, actually another uh, question that Wampire wants to know, and it says, what animal do you like? And I love penguins, and when I go to San Francisco, I always go to their zoo. I always take pictures of penguins, so that's something that uh, I will be showing off once I uh, develop all my pictures and edit all my pictures. You'll be seeing a lot of penguin pictures from me. Uh, now, just to show you uh, just uh, what I carry with me as far as toys, when I do my toy photography, there's two places that I like to go to. Uh, and actually, it could actually also answer uh, Vampire's question of where do you feel safe. I know I said San Francisco, but there's a, there's a place in San Francisco called Botanical Gardens, which is just acres and acres of uh, trees, flowers, gardens, and it's just a great place to sit and relax. A lot of people in San Francisco go there to paint, they, they go there to sketch, they, it, it's just a very, uh, I guess I can call it a tranquil place. So, uh, and I, you can get a lot of uh, photography done there because there's some different parts of the month, different parts of the season, there's always flowers in bloom, different flowers in bloom. So what I want to do is, as you can see here, I have everything in plastic bags right now because I'm getting ready to go to Burbank, but these are Mario Kart figures and I'm going to try to recreate a lot of uh, Mario Kart kind of scenes uh, within the gardens, within uh, a lot, like because there's a lot of flowers, a lot of plants, so I'm going to actually try to recreate a lot of Mario Kart scenes using those uh, figures. Now here, uh, I've actually shown these before with a uh, pickup video from the flea market. Is These are just a lot of random figures that I have got. And again, I'm going to use these uh, in botanical gardens. 
and actually in different, I'm going to try to do some street photography too in San Francisco using these uh, figures. So, um, the next thing is I have a bag of homies. And again, homies will be used uh, in botanical gardens, but uh, again, like these other figures, I'm going to try to use these on the streets of San Francisco. I'm going to try to use them very creatively. Uh, there's a lot of different variety of homies that I have. So again, homies will always go with me when I do uh, travel toy photography because the, it's just a lot of different um, things that you can do with the, with the homies. Uh, here I have Doctor Who figures. Uh, these are like um, uh, Lego figures, but they're uh, kind of like a no knockoff version. So these will be used in botanical gardens. Uh, and there's also a place called Land's End, uh, where it is a really great museum called the Legion of Honor, which is like one of my absolute favorite places in San Francisco. It's a museum. You, you, you just gonna have to Google it because it's a it's just an awesome museum. It's got history. The uh, Alfred Hitchcock has uh, filmed one of his movies there, uh, and uh, it also answers one of Vampire's questions: uh, If you had buried treasure, where would you bury it? And I would bury it in Lands, and Lands End is uh, a lot, just a huge, massive land uh, that runs along the shoreline, and uh, there's just a lot of places where you can bury treasure out there. But uh, Doctor Who figures, those will be used for botanical gardens to try to get some interesting shots with those. Uh, I do have my Lego figures and I actually have my Lego Hot Wheels where again, like the uh, Nintendo uh, Mario Kart, I'm gonna try to recreate a lot of Lego figures on the Hot Wheels Lego cars to try to do like a Mario Kart type of thing. And also just standard Lego figures, uh, maybe like travel photos, like uh, different parts uh, within San Francisco. Uh, again, uh, I do have some Mario figures. There's just some random figures here. Uh, I had just acquired the uh, Riddler on his little motorbike or trike, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be using that in a very creative shot and with another figure that I have in this bag. And there's a neighborhood in San Francisco where I'm gonna to try to use that in that photo. So that's just to give you an idea of the toys that I, I'm gonna have, like my Hot Wheels with me. R really, the, the toy photo bag that I just showed you uh, is just gonna be really filled. And the other thing that I do carry with me that I did forget to show you is this is a uh, film, uh, kind of a, um, I don't know what you would call it. This is just like an item bag. Uh, this is a lot of items that I, I use for my uh, film cameras. So here are like uh, lenses that I put on my Hoka camera that are used for macro and micro photography. I've got different, um, these are uh, things that go inside of the Hoga camera if you're going to shoot a, either a 12 roll or a 16 roll. And then I've got a trigger release uh, for like when you want to put the Hoga on a tripod. And then you can just use it as a, as a shutter release. I'm sorry. I do have my rolls of film, which I always shoot with the Kodak 400TX uh, film. And then I also shoot, uh, actually with the camera that I forgot to show you is, I shoot with 110. And just to show you quickly, what a 110 camera looks like. This is another camera that I always carry with me. And if you can remember this from the 80s, uh, what a 110 roll looks like. And I'll show you, this is actually, this is actually a camera. And uh, the film, roll is already this is part it makes it part of the camera so this is a let's see if you can see it here um, if you can kind of see in the top left I know it's not really focusing on it but the roll of film does say Lomography and 110 cameras are used for Lomography and it's just not getting a, a good focus on it so screw that 
So that's another camera that I carry with me that I forgot to show. So these are the 110 roll films that are called the 200 uh, color negative tiger roll films. Uh, I carry uh, ma uh, masking tape with me uh, so I can uh, tape the sides of my camera because these have known to be, uh, become loose so you have to uh, tape up the sides sometimes on the Holga cameras. So I just carry a lot of different uh, camera items with me for um, emergency sake or just because you never know about your situation. So really that's what I carry with me when I do uh, toy photography in case anybody was really curious like what do you what do you carry with you or how do you carry your stuff and what do you take with you that's what I take with me and there's actually a lot more toys I need to pack up here uh, before I leave uh, for Burbank and um, let me see if there's actually one more question that I can get from Vampire here um, uh, God, I, he's asking about a guilty pleasure. I'm not sure if, if I have a guilty pleasure per se. Um, really, it's just photography. Uh, I mean, that that's uh, that, that's my guilty pleasure. And uh, actually, he does ask about what a favorite food is, and generally, it's going to be pizza. And there's really a really really good pizza place uh, in the Castro district in San Francisco called Marcello's Pizza. Great. You can get slices of pizza for like two or three bucks, but it's just awesome, awesome pizza. So that is my favorite uh, food, is pizza. And um, let me see if there's one more question here. And um, nothing I can really answer right now per se with this uh, video. All of his other questions will be answered in another video. So that's just to show you... Uh, Kind of my uh, just a little bit here and there with my toy for with my toy photography. Uh, comment below if you have any more questions, or if there's anything else you want to know about my toy photography. And uh, descriptions. I have my uh, Flickr page with my toy photography, and also in the description is all my friends in the collectors uh, toy talk trading circle. They have their YouTube videos, all their toy finds, and all their thrift store finds, so be sure to check them out. And you will be seeing another video uh, from me coming up here probably at the end of October because uh, I will be talking about my Burbank trip. I can't talk about it right now because uh, there's some stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about right now, which I'll get more into with the Burbank video. So you'll just have to wait and find out what I am going to be doing in Burbank, because uh, which I'll be doing stuff with movie studios, but I'm not allowed to talk about it at this time. So uh, until around the end of October, I will see you next time. And this is Bosco signing.